Hello everybody and welcome back to the MES, the Minecraft event space. Today we are doing our Block Wars 8 predictions, because Block Wars is finally back. Okay, so let's just go through the teams. So, Jelly Jesters, we have Mid Mystic, Pyrocythe, Sandwich Lord, Forcivet, and Gracie, an amazing team, an MCC Rising 2 team. All of them played in MCC Rising, obviously Sandwich was meant to play. Uh, Savage is finally back. Uh, his last block wars was block wars 2. Uh, Jack and 4C are newcomers to the event. Then Mystic's played before. Gracie's played many, many times. It's my I think this is Gracie's completion of all the colors in block wars. I think this is her eighth color team in block wars, I believe. So don't comment on that, though. But yeah, a good team, a silly team. Looking forward to watching it. Power Pumpkins, you have Kamen 18, Greninja, Joe Bartolozzi, Hunter, and Anthos. This is, again, a good team. A very weird team, in my opinion. It's quite a mix and match. It's like a pick and mix of creators. But it's pretty strong, to be fair. There's no really weak player. Anthos is not the greatest, but, again, he can play at a very decent standard. Yeah, Kamen is very underrated as well. I think Kamen is now one of the greatest players in Block Wars, skill-wise, because he's very consistent with his... Just skill all round. Obviously, he's meant to be a parkour main, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the team gets hold of. Obviously, Greninja as well. Nicely, Joe Botsalossi as well um, in main event. He did well in rookies, and yeah. Duke Skeletons. We've got X Shatter, Caitlyn, Puns, Red Velvet Cake, and Heike Hate Me. Again, another good team, another good content team. X Shatter, one of the best averages for Block Wars. Caitlyn, not so much. Puns, uh, depends on how we play on the day. Heike Hate Me, Red Velvet, pretty middle of the road players. But yeah, pretty good team. A pretty good cool content team. A very, very good name. Zanny Zombies got Meow Unified, Sleepy, Purpled, CPK, and Prince Zam. A pretty strong team, in my opinion. Uh, Meow Unified only played rookies and got last, but then again, Purpled, Callum, and Zam is a, is a mad trio. Uh, Sleepy has subbed out uh, since this announcement. Um, I'm not entirely sure who the sub is yet. I think it's Sneak Snag, but we'll see. And all our predictions are based off Sleepy's placement as... Um, I think Alex said that um, it'll be a very similar skill level sub. So yeah, Game of Ghosts. You got King Samolot, Radoons, Apakuna, Milkberry, and Caboodle. So yeah, uh, a good content team, a very cool content team. Obviously, Apo and Radoons have very high block wars averages and placements. Maddie has not played before, but it's nice to see Maddie with Caboodle. That's going to be a silly duo, silly content duo, and King Samolot. Obviously full of jokes and full of funnies. Uh, I don't know where this team's going to place, in a sense. I don't think it's the strongest. It just it depends on Radoons and Apo for this one. And yeah, it's a good team now, and again, a good name for an event. Creepy Crawlers, an amazing uh, announcement video. We've got Rattles, Ghosty Fruit, Kyle F, Yamina, and Nukari. A very silly team. I like this team a lot. Content-wise, obviously you can see from the images, it's very silly. Uh, but yeah, I like this team. It's a good team. I don't know how strong it is though, it kind of depends, because Rattles and Nuke are close to top 10 players, but not really, it depends if they play well, depends if Kyle plays well, Ghosty can play well on their day, and Yamina not really, kind of a low end player, but we'll, we'll see though, we'll see how this team comes on Saturday. Scary Crows, you got Fire Breath Man and Kridios, which have swapped their PFPs, Eric, Ashley Roboto, and Wally Bear, a pretty strong team again, Ryan, Shane, and Wally is a mad trio, uh, Roboto and Eric are low end placing players, but, I don't know, this team can go far, it just depends, can, I mean, Shane has placed very high in every block wars, and if he continues that and fights for first place with purple, I think, in this event, yeah, you've got every chance, honestly. Wally as well, and Kridios, as they play at good events, they could make bridges. And Tricky Treats, you've got Fulham, Shadoon, Full Symmetry, Jojo Solos, and Rec Rap. This team on paper looks ridiculously strong, but based off averages, it's actually pretty weak, but that's based off averages, though. Fulham has placed, like, just on the top half. Shadoon um, got, like, 20th with the Capybara's Rojo. Full Symmetry's never played. Jojo gets, like, 10th to 15th, but, and Rec Rap gets, like, 10th. 15th as well. So there's no there's no top frag in a sense. I think Jojo will be the top frag for this event. I think she'll finally have a decent block wars. But we'll see though, we'll see. Um I think this team goes pretty far. It's a very balanced team, very strong team. There's no real weak player in that team. So let's just see how they get on on Saturday. And that's all the teams. Now let's go through some predictions. So here's the Google Doc once again. I think we've got four new players. Ah, uh, we have got four new players. So you can see what the average is here. Um, the lowest average, I think, is Meow Unified. Yeah, 901. That's from rookies, though. Uh, and yeah, all pretty decently balanced teams, in all honesty. Um, see, look here. Like, there's no top frag, because, like, every team has Shade. This team has... Well, this team hasn't really got a top frag. Uh, this team has Red. This team has Purple. This team has X Shatter. This team has... 
green angel can man this team yeah so every team has a top frag apart from blue and pink but pink is a lot more balanced than blue in my opinion but yeah let's go through indiv and team predictions team predictions and indiv predictions i think zombies uh lime team will finish first i think purple callum and zam is a pretty strong trio sleepy as well obviously they've, sub they've subbed out i think it's sneak that is subbing in and yeah, that's a pretty strong team. I think Purple will get first in div, and I think they will carry. I think Callum, here's the thing. I think Callum will have a really good event this time. Because it's a really there's not many top frags this event. I think Callum could definitely perform at a high level, especially with Purple. Because he showed that in MCC Twitch Rivals, and he could definitely show it on Saturday. In second place, I've got treats. I think JoJo will have a very good block wars finally. Ratcrap will follow suit, Shadoon. That none of them will really like finish bottom 10. None of them are weak enough to finish bottom 10 so i think with that put with those points in mind those team points and just a decent um roster of games i think pink will probably get second place in third place i have pumpkin uh i think cabin and Grinch will have decent events solid events they'll take their team but then hunter joe and anthos i just don't think will follow suit um i think joe will do okay i think hunter will do okay as well on their debut well, on their well yeah joe will do okay on his debut well block wars debut because he played 15th in uh rookies but let's see let's see how orange do but i think they'll get third four have crows i think shane is good uh wally and ryan will have decent events as well but then obviously and unfortunately they have two weak end players and i don't think they'll place very high this event if, if they could prove me completely wrong get like top half that'd be beautiful and please do it eris and Ashley. but yeah uh i just don't think the overall i mean shane will probably get second or first and yeah i think crows will do enough to get top half fifth half skeletons i think puns uh, I, there's no real, like... I mean, X-Shutter is definitely going to place quite high in the, in the list of the roster. Um, is a very good player. Puns as well. Uh, Heike Hate Me, middle of the road. Red Velvet, middle of the road. And then Caitlyn is one of the lowest averages, so probably placing in the lower spaces. But yeah, a pretty balanced team over the 40 in Div. And then I think, just with the game roster, I think they're probably fish. Fifth place. Sixth place, the Jellies. Uh, red team. I think Sandwich have a pretty good first event. Well, proper first event, because I obviously played in two, but that was a seven-game sub. Uh, 4C, I don't think will do that great on debut, because it is his debut, and yeah, Parasite, again, the same, uh, Grace, the same, Mystic, the same, Grace and Mystic are low-end players, anyway, uh, Savage will do a lot here, and also, for, one of 4C or Jack, or even Grace or Mid-Mystic will have to have a pretty good event for, for Ed to push top half or even bridges, but yeah, I don't know, I think the bottom sixth is reasonable. 7 5 Ghosts, I think Apple and Radoons have decent events, but then again, this duo of uh, Caboodle and Milkbrae is content and are not that great at the game. Unfortunately, prove me wrong, please. Um, King Samalot is middle of the road. And I think, yeah, it's a good team. It's, that's that's going to be a content team. I, I, I think Ghost and Crawls, because Crawls I have an eighth. Um, and the highest players, Rattles and Nukari, Ghosty, Yamina, where's Kala? There you go. Uh, I don't, I think they're pretty balanced again. None of them will, well, actually, no. Yeah, but he needs last time. I <laughs> think. But yeah, uh, I just don't think there's any top frag really on crawlers that can compete. But it is a lower roster, a, a lower, a weaker roster, so they could, one of them could push. Nuke, even Yamina, Rattles, Karlaf, Ghosty. If one of you get top ten, I'll be very proud of you. <laughs> so that's my predictions. You can obviously pause now to look through my end of predictions. Uh, and yeah, okay. And now we have two of my co-hosts uh, doing predictions for themselves as well. Um, they have, they both have zombie, well, both have zombies and treats in finale, like me. They both have crows in third instead of fourth. They have pumpkin quite low. Like, Carter's pumpkin quite low. Jelly's fifth, Jelly's sixth. Yeah, it's a pretty, and then Ghost and Crawl seventh and eighth. It's pretty similar in the team-wise. Very similar, in fact. Um, Indiv one's not so much, because obviously they've put Red Rack a bit higher. I might be completely wrong about that, but Red Rack might be dominating. I might be completely wrong about that, but yeah. Savage and fourth. Savage and third is a very rogue shout, in my opinion, because he hasn't played a block wars, really. Well, not for a year. Callum, that low. I mean, I put Callum quite high. I believe in Callum. Uh, Cam Mart's fair. Callum a bit low there. Wally quite high, so they're, they're pushing for Crows to be quite high there. Um, bottom is pretty much, it's literally identical with the bottom, like, six. Uh, these, these change slightly. They both put Joe a bit higher. And yeah, but you can pause and look at their predictions, uh, in both Indiv and team-wise. You can pause right now to look at their predictions. But that's going to do it. Thank you, everybody, for watching our Block Wars 8 prediction video. Uh, we'll see you on Saturday for Block Wars 8 at 7, B 7 o'clock BST, at 7 p.m. BST, uh, for Block Wars 8. I'm excited to go watch it. And yeah. In the meantime, though, we've been the MES. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later.